All right, once again, hello folks. Welcome to our second video. Previous video was our installation of Acapella TTS, so we can use it on the Chrome Vox. Unfortunately, that went a bit pear-shaped. So today's second video, we're gonna have a go at installing Bobizen's screen recorder on the Chromebook. So hopefully this should be more successful than the first video. So that is what we'll be doing in this video. Okay, now before we go on to the experimental side, we're gonna go through a few things first. Now, Mobizen screen recorder is what we have used on my tablet and my Fire HD, which we recently introduced to the group. And if you don't know what a screen recorder is, a screen recorder captures everything that you do on your screen, which is handy for videos of this nature. So that is that. Secondly, because I'm using my Chromebook and because the Chromebook has the capability to run Android, because of that, you can't, it doesn't mean to say that you can install every single Android app on the Play Store and get the same experience that you would get if run on your phone or tablet. Not every app you can install on your Chromebook and not all of the apps offer the same experience in terms of accessibility and probably in interface as well. So this is going to be an experimental video. Okay. Also, I should add, however, that the Mobizen screen recorder can be inaccessible to set up on phone or tablet. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what experience we get on the Chromebook. All right, so we're just gonna open the Play Store again. All right, now, first of all, we're gonna type in Mobizen in the search box. And it should come up with the screen recorder in the search results. I believe you don't get a permission list prior to installation, as you have just seen. So therefore we have to allow the permissions before our first launch, which is a bit of a pain in the neck to be honest, because I don't like pop-ups and I don't like long processes myself, as I'm sure several people would agree. <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing about running Android apps on the Chromebook is that people have the pleasure of using the keyboard. Now, I often find touch screens quite problematic sometimes because the Google Talkback incorporates complex gestures and the gestures can be quite similar as well. And you can inadvertently complete the wrong action and that can be very frustrating because you're gonna to have to retrace your steps over and over again. And the keyboard is much more accessible than a touch screen. So that takes one inaccessible aspect away from this setting up of the mobiles and screen recorder but <clears throat> excuse me we'd have to uh, negotiate other accessibility problem so as i said earlier let's allow these permissions before our first launch so we're going to go to app info Open by advanced. No permission. Draw over other apps. Yes. Now we've got the draw over other apps, and you need to make sure that is ticked. Um, what that does, I believe, is it kind of ensures that everything on your screen is captured. If that makes sense. I was going to say uh, something else, but I thought it would be a bit too complex. I don't want to go into complex jargon. So all I think it is, is it ensures everything is captured. It's probably like a app blanket, if that Open makes sense. Permission. Take permissions. No. All right, so we're gonna allow the permissions. Back, navigate, mobile, selected, camera, off. microphone, storage. Now, not many screen recorders have a microphone and again it is important that 
screen recorders have a microphone because my the Nimbus screen recorder I am using now the Nimbus is Chrome OS mobile zone is Android and the reason why it is important to have a microphone is pretty obvious it's good for tutorials because people can explain what is happening and also for screen reader users like myself screen reader users need as much info as they can get because they can't see when a person clicks here and clicks there they need quite a lot of explanatory information so that is why it is important to have a microphone on the screen recorders so we're going to enter Mobizen Uh, so just spare with us. All right. Number one record chosen by o welcome. I have read an welcome. I have read so if I click the I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Well, it might take me to a web page where it has all the terms and conditions on chosen by a multi-page view number one rec welcome i have minimized well see this is one of the accessibility problems we had it's hard to get away from that screen Minim max welcome i have well multi-page i have read an hmm. multi-page view Try it for free. No thanks. Alright, so I think this is a trial. To get away from that screen, it looks as though you have to click on the welcome section rather than I agree to the terms and conditions. And although that may seem a small thing, to move on to the next screen on a lot of apps, you need to click I agree to the terms and conditions or something of that nature. You don't click on the welcome screen, but Unfortunately, in this case of the mobiles and screen recorder, you do. Cancel, cancel free trial. No button. No thanks button. Another no accessibility thanks. problem is the no and no thanks. And this is probably going to affect everyone as well because it should be no and yes. No uh, kind of tells the app that I arrived here by mistake and the yes make sure that you want to cancel the trial however the that yes button is replaced by the no thanks button if that makes sense but again no and no thanks no, no it's thanks. quite confusing no uh, so Back, but tap the air circle another accessibility problem is this the air circle now i'm using my chromebook as i said earlier and notifications sent by Android apps to the Chrome OS notification panel can be hard to read by the Chrome Vox unlike Chrome OS notifications sent to the Chrome OS notification panel and so it will be interesting to see how well we can access those air circles air circle. so I'm gonna see if I can find the air circle first of all notifications you are sharing your screen Nimbus screen collapse notification close stop download complete fix Notif clear notification Google Play Store bullet Notif notification close clear all notification settings. I can't find the air circle anyway alert do not disturb do not disturb let me go back into the app and see what is happening here. Another thing that you would notice that I have noticed is it takes a while to launch. Alert. Command oh. Notifications. I think I have found the air circle now, but it's bullet now. Expand button. Air circle. Alright, let's click the air circle. 
your internal display. Share. Internal display. Your entire. Right. Mobizen wants to sh your entire internal display. Share. Okay, do okay. It looks as though that I am recording. Alert. You are sharing your screen, Mobus. This is a mobile and test. Sign out. Okay. Shut down. Lock. Help. Set. Eight percent. If I go to the status bar, I should find two stop buttons. Mute. Stop. Bluetooth disabled. Connected to SK. Oh, hang on. Notifications. You are sharing your screen. Mobus and is sharing. Collapse. Notification. Stop. Okay, so it looks as though that the initial process of setting up the Mobizen can be difficult at times. And also finding the air circle can be difficult also. Now I must admit and I but and I think I ought to say this now. If you don't find the air circle initially, you go and launch the mobiles and that. However, you won't be presented with the mobiles and interface. Instead the app will prob probably present an interface and close quite quickly. And what that does is it it is as it um puts the air circle notification it puts the no air circle in your notifications section so you can access it so if you don't access it initially we launch the app then try and access it like you did before if that makes sense so i'm going to actually play the test video and see how clear that is because again it is important that the microphone on screen recorders is clear Videos download, download, audio, hmm. download. It's interesting. Selected. Using TTS with Chromebox, WebM 31.3 megabytes, one video today, open. Selected, Google Drive, videos down, images, video download, audio. This is bad news, audio. Down, video, a bit images. problematic. Whether I'm, it is because I'm running two screen recorders at the same time. Recent, download, recent. Let's click on recent, see what that brings us. Using TTS with Chromebox, mm. WebM 31. Selected. One password, first look. No. Google Drive. Well, unfortunately, this can be a little bit disappointing. However, I'm not too sure whether the video is not there because I was running the Nimbus screen recorder at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll probably test it after this video and then I would put the test results in the description of the video once it's uploaded to YouTube. So unfortunately I can't draw to a conclusion, a full conclusion just yet. But in summary, have a go at the mobile zone, see if you have the same problem like I did and thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you soon